Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and let's get started, okay? So what we're working on today are number patterns. And you're, you're becoming very familiar with this because you've had a couple times to practice this already. But we have three numbers, and then we have to find the other three numbers in the sequence. And let me remind you, sometimes you have to add, sometimes you have to subtract, sometimes you have to multiply, sometimes you have to divide, sometimes we're doubling them, sometimes we're reducing them by half, sometimes we're multiplying them by 10 or dividing by 10. It just depends. It depends on the number pattern. But we have to just think about it logically and we have to figure out what other numbers belong with the rest of the sequence, okay? So I'm going to do a couple with you and you are going to do the rest. So here we have 5.7, 5.2, and 4.7. What we need to do is figure out how did this 5.7 become a 5.2? How did this 5.2 become a 4.7? <clears throat> Pardon me. So 5.7 to 5.2, what happened there? I subtracted 0.5. Let's see if that will work here too. 5.2 minus 0.5 equals 4.7. It does work. So here what we're going to do is we're going to do 4.7 minus 0.5, which is going to equal 4.2. Next, we have 4.2 here now. We're going to subtract by 0.5, which is going to equal 3.7. And now we have 3.7 here. We're going to subtract by 0.5, and that's going to be 3.2. Awesome. Here we have 0.8. Then it became 1.6, and then it became 2.4. What happened here? What we did is we added 0.8. 0 0.8 plus 0.8 equals 1.6. 1.6 plus 2.4 equals, I'm sorry, 1.6 plus 0.8 equals 2.4. What's going to be the next number in the sequence? 2.4 plus 0.8 equals 3.2. Now, 3.2 plus 0.8 is going to equal 4.0. Now, 4.0 plus 0.8 is going to equal 4.8, and that's it. Now, what happened here? Here I have a 7, then I have 14, then I have 21. What happened? Let's see. 7 times 2 is 14. Okay, that works. But is 14 times 2 21? Nope, it's 28, so that's not it. How do I get from 7 to 14? Well, how about if I add 7? 7 plus 7 is 14. Now, is 14 plus 7 21? Yes, it is. So we're adding 7. 21 plus 7 is 28. 28 plus 7 is 35. And 35 plus 7 is 42. And that's it, boys and girls. Let's take a look at the rest of these numbers, okay? So here we have 10,000, then we have 1,000, then we have 100. What number goes there? Here we have 96, 9, I'm sorry, 98, 96, 94. What number goes there, there, and there? The next one we have is 66, 60, and 54. What numbers complete the sequence or the pattern? Now we have 9, 18, 27. What three numbers will complete that sequence? Next one we have is 3, 4, 6. What numbers will complete the sequence? Here we have 21, 23, 26. What number there will complete the sequence? Here we have 1. 10, 100, what three numbers will complete this sequence? And that's it, boys and girls. That's all I want you to do today. Please let me remind you that your parents do have a PDF copy of this file, so you have two options. You can print out page three, or you can have page three on the screen of the computer. You can jot down these problems, and then you can work them out. It's really up to you.
Okay? Parents, I want to thank you again. Boys and girls, you're doing an outstanding job. I know this isn't the most easiest thing to do, but you're exercising your brain, and I think that that's awesome. With that said, boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at our next lesson. And in the meantime, please take care, everyone. Bye-bye.